Hey everyone, I'm Mitch. I like Star Wars, and I like making Star Wars stuff, and I like sharing it with you. Welcome to the Legendary Galaxy. Today on the Legendary Galaxy, we're going to be making a blaster. Not just any blaster, Din Din Djarin's blaster from the Mandalorian. I've done some of these customizations in the past, and I've done Han Solo's blaster, Princess Leia's, and some others. And I think they're a really fun, easy project for most everyone. All you do is you go buy one of these. These are like uh, costume props that you can just buy on Amazon. They're pretty accurate. They're pretty close. And with a few, few things, a little sanding, a little paint, this will be fun. Let's get started. So we're just going to start off by uh, sanding some of these rough edges down where the two pieces of the mold come together, especially around this barrel and some other places. And then there's an embossed logo right here that I just kind of sand off. It's a little challenging for some reason, but uh, just continue to take it off. and. Uh, any other part that you see where the plastic doesn't line up very well. Once it's all sanded, just take a moist paper towel or cloth and get all the particles off that you've sanded. Make sure everything's how you want it, nice and smooth. So I saw this trick on uh, TikTok, I believe, where you drill out the front of the blaster and uh, you pour sand in it and to make it a little bit more weightier. And uh, so I bought some, some gray sand, probably not necessary since you'll never see it, but I thought it looked cool. And uh, so I'm just going to put it in the top and just keep filling the blaster until it's all the way full. Have a little uh, rubber funnel to make it easier. And it just kind of goes all the way to the bottom and I just kept filling it. I used about uh, half of that large bottle. So to finish it off so the sand doesn't come out, I have this epoxy putty and it's this one's kind of wood like because you can sand it but uh, you just take off the uh, plastic casing off the outside and then uh, put on some gloves because you just don't want this stuff on your hands and you just start to uh, mix the center with the outside and that kind of activates it, get it nice and mixed up. And then what we're gonna do is just carefully put it in the top of the blaster here and just keep that sand in. And uh, I'm just pushing it down with my finger. And what you do is uh, you let that dry for a while. It dries pretty fast and then you're all done. And now we're all done. Now that it's dried, I'm going to get get it painted. You can see the front where I put that epoxy putty in and we're ready to paint. But uh, what I want to do is tape off the handle because that's where it's going to be wood. So I just kind of use some blue painter's tape and uh, covered up what I needed. And then I'm just using a uh, X-Acto knife just to cut out the parts that still need to be spray painted black. And so I'm all ready to paint it with black. Uh, this is just a non-primer type finish. 
on the black it's a matte black and you can see all painted i'm not the greatest painter but it kind of looks it looks so different just with that matte black painted over the top of it and now i want to paint this small part silver like is on the original gun so i have the painter's tape again i'm just gonna mask off a small area with uh, the same tape the part i want silver uh, it is good to have black underneath the silver for some reason it makes the silver um, work even better and this rust-oleum metallic finish is the paint that i've seen looks the most like metal when it's painted so You can see I've uh, finished masking off and I'm ready to just paint this little area with the silver paint. And uh, after I let the silver paint dry overnight, so, and it's nice and heavy from the sand and I'm gonna start painting the handle of the blaster here. And this is something I saw on um, YouTube. It's uh, alcohol-based ink. And uh, I'll put a link in the description on it, how to do that technique a little better by the person I saw how to use it. But you just take a makeup brush and you put drops on and uh, you just keep swiping it. And it really is amazing. It just makes a wood texture as you do it. The, I, <clears throat> I got a pack of uh, three of these and just put the different colors on to give it different texture, different uh, wood texture. So you just keep doing it and uh, let it dry a little bit, put some more drops on with this makeup brush and it works so great. As you can see, as I pull it, it makes some of those wood type textures on it. And uh, just doing both sides of it. And that's why I left that orange to give me a good wood color underneath. This works best on, uh, this technique works best on smooth, hard surfaces. And just finishing up here and uh, here is a photo of the finished technique, and it really does look like wood. So now I'm just going to take this ruddy brush I have. It's all been cut up, and I'm just dipping it in some silver paint and then brushing it out a little on um, the paper towel you can see. And wherever, this is mainly for scratches to make it look scratched. If you get a little carried away, you can rub some of it off. Then I'm also using the same makeup brush to just give it a worn look where it doesn't really scratch it, but it makes it look like it is worn. You can see the final result here up close. And now I'm just going to kind of make the wood look a little better used a little dirty i'm taking it some watered down paint and then i'm just kind of wiping it off and it will fall down in the crevices there just making it uh, look a little dirty in some areas and i'm gonna use that same technique with some watered down black and uh, just fill in some cracks and then come back and wipe it off and the parts that left fall fall into those crevices and just make it look not so new and shiny. And for the very last part of the blaster, I'm going to take this metallic pen that I bought and just go over these parts of the blaster that were a little different, little goldish or brass colored on the blaster and just take that and it worked really easy just to finish it off and give it the final look. So here it is, the Mando Blaster, all finished, ready for display or cosplay. So 
But if you do take it outside, make sure to put some sort of large orange tip on it because it really does look like something for Bar Galaxy. But if you like this project or other Star Wars projects, come back and join me again on the Legendary Galaxy.